I know that, you know, we, we get together, Rob, and we talk about, you know, what topics do we want to get at and what's the news of the day. And I know that when you saw this story, actually, when you saw the response to this story, that you just were tickled pink. You were licking your chops. You were like, I can't believe my good fortune. This is what you want to get at. And I'm talking about the story, CNBC, that a story came out by a good guy we know, a good reporter too, Jabari Young. And uh, he wrote a story that said many owners and executives and agents, mainly owners and agents, but some executives, uh, they're talking, they're calling the league saying, don't play, let's not play the season. And, uh, they just don't think it's worth it to go ahead and, and have the NBA season. And I will say this, and I've been in touch with several executives and agents today. And just from even just over the past few weeks, talking to people, you know, around the league, this story surprised me because, um, everything I'm hearing is that they are, they, they want to get, they want to desperately finish the season the league and, and all and the executives and all that and the owners. And that's what people were telling me today too. They still feel the same way. Some feel like, look, this may be, you know, these are owners from losing teams or executives from teams that are definitely out of the playoffs. And don't, you know, and I get that. I mean, do, do we want to go to Orlando to play five games? You know, get, we got to get a whole staff together, risk potentially getting them sick to play five, seven games, whatever. Or even if maybe even some of the lower rung playoff teams who know, uh, okay, look, we go, we go there, we're going to play the Clippers in the first round. So I'm getting all this together for a few weeks. It's not worth it. So maybe it's coming from some of those types. Uh, but but I've been hearing that, that the league and the owners do want to finish this season. But regardless, this story came out and LeBron James responded to it strongly. LeBron in a tweet just completely denounced it. And uh, here's what the tweet said. Trying to find it. Here it is. That's absolutely not. Well, here it goes. So saw some, saw some reports about executives and agents wanting to cancel the season. That's absolutely not true. Nobody I know saying anything like that. As soon as it's safe, we would like to finish our season. I'm ready and our team is ready. Nobody should be canceling anything. So that's LeBron's response, and that's what I'm sure. He hadn't told me this, but I, I, I'm i betting, I'll bet some wings on it, that Rob Parker jumped for joy when he saw this response. Well, because it's LeBron exposing it. He knows he's desperate. LeBron knows that the season that the Lakers have, he can't bank on it. He's not sure what's going to happen next year. You know, when you lose it, Chris, it just happens. And you're not as good, not as quick, not your shots aren't falling. Whatever it is, when father time catches up to you. So I get why he's panicking. This is He knows this is probably his only chance to win a championship. He doesn't know what the future holds. He doesn't know what's going to happen, who's coming back, what's happening, if somebody will get hurt next year, what, whatever it might be. He might get hurt next year. You know what I mean? As you get older. So yeah. I understand why he's the one who jumped out there because, and, and not that it's a guarantee he's going to win, but he feels like if he ever had a chance, it would be right now. And that is why LeBron wants the season to go on. I get that. I totally, because the, the chances of him winning past this year aren't good. Just based on age, just based on other things, other teams, Clippers being healthy, younger, Chris, you know, like like if the Clippers are all healthy next year and all together, um, will the Lakers jump out and be as good as they were this year? There's all kinds of stuff going on. Next year, the Warriors will be healthy. Those, those two stars up there will be healthy. You look at other teams. So, yes, I get it. This is LeBron hoping, wishing, praying that they can resume the season so that he can have a chance to win again. Because desperately, he knows that legacy without a championship in Los Angeles will take a hit. It ain't going to change whether people think he's a great player. 
but the legacy will take a hit if he comes to L.A. and winds up getting shut out in four years without winning a championship. Well, here, here's the thing. I, I don't think it's just LeBron, though. I, I don't think LeBron is the only player dying to finish the season. Number one, I think I think all the players with a who, – who, you know, because, look, we may look at – not may. We do. We look at Utah, Denver – Portland, you know, who's just barely hoping to make the playoffs, Oklahoma City. We look at them and we say, they got no chance. But the players, all the players on those teams don't feel that way. You know how it is, right? They they think, hey, particularly now, with who knows? There's There's been things have been thrown off. Maybe we can pull an upset. Maybe it's only a three or a five-game series. So now here's our chance. So, I think virtually all the playoff team players, Rob, want to get back and play. And I definitely think the contenders. I bet you if Kawhi Leonard was, was talkative, if he were on social media, he would be saying the same thing as LeBron. I bet privately he is saying and feeling the but, same way as LeBron. Not desperate, but just, I want to play. Like, Would you say I LeBron mean, is desperate, Chris? That this is, I don't this think is the, desperate. No, because you, you don't LeBron, think that this year is a goal is is one of his best opportunities to try to win a championship. I'm just saying, without knowing is, what the future it is holds, one of his best and perhaps the best chance he has left. However, knowing LeBron, I don't think that he is looking at next season like, man, I could fall off. You don't think that. You no, know, I, I understand it, it might, that. he might fall off, but I don't think he thinks that's a chance. But I think if if it, the season doesn't go, it hurts him more than anybody else. The other guys in contention are younger. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I agree with that. But that, I'm that's just all saying, I'm saying is think... that they're younger. They got more years to play. LeBron's right. here's his championship logical clock ticking, and and it's it's there, and he knows it. It's getting louder and louder every day. There's no game. Uh, but you here's make the other it part. seem like he's scared, frightened. Oh my gosh, uh, this yeah, is my oh, yeah. last year. I don't see that I, because I, I, th- look, every you we even had guests, Rob, who were saying they think this little hiatus is going to help LeBron. See, I disagree it gives him a rest. with that. I, and I, I, yeah, I, I think it's disagree, harder to we, start. We, I think it's we, harder to start up when you're older and you've been playing well, and then compared to letting younger guys who are not healthy get better They're possibly still gonna, I, that's just me i mean the, the layoff he had last summer helped him he came back and had a uh you know darn near he's not he wasn't going with the mvp but he's going to be second so he had a great year and who's to say with this i mean this could be a real serious rest that he doesn't come back and so i'm just saying we, we have to see because you're right it, it comes surprisingly we don't know when it'll hit a guy Right. But I don't, you know that. I I'm just saying it's not about LeBron. It's about way. older players, right? right? We're not saying. I don't about... think he's thinking that way, though. Yeah, he but I, get, think I that agree way. in general with you. Like I do think it hurts him more than anybody because we, you know, he's 35. He's in his 17th year, and every you're not going to get better. At least you know, you know that's not logical. So you're right in that this is the team was playing great. It seems like a great opportunity for him to win it, and you don't know what the future holds. So I'm in agreement with you there. I just don't think it's as desperate, LeBron's as desperate as you're making it seem. He's desperate. He wants to win. I, LeBron, I can read Any through your, the your tweet. King, he, yes. The poo-poo king was saying that. I'm, I'm going to poo-poo king. Absolutely. I'm going to poo-poo what he said and tell him that he's desperate. He knows he needs to win. Uh, now, otherwise, it'll never happen. And that'll be it. LeBron will be like, I was in L.A. We were going to win that championship, you remember, in 2020? <laughs> no, you can't. You got to add that to me. You got to add that championship. I got robbed. I, I, had, I didn't get shut out in L.A. We ran out of time. That's what he would use. That's actually a good ex- oh, explanation. <laughs> All right, is LeBron hell-bent on finishing this season because he knows this is his last best shot to win a fourth ring? Let's tr- let's kick it off with Jeremy in Texas. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jeremy? What's up, guys? I think anybody in LeBron situation would be kind of worried and scared. It's kind of like going to Vegas. You, know, you go to Vegas, you're hitting on the slides, hitting on the craps table, and all of a sudden the 
pit boss goes, oh, we're going to shut it down, come back tomorrow, and try your luck again. You know, if you're hitting it hot and you're hot, you want to keep going. You don't want to stop, come back tomorrow. No, hey, Jeremy, I, and, and, you're right. You're right. He was and hot. again, I don't think it's just him. I think Kawhi probably feels that way. And you're right. Where he's younger, so he'll get more chances. But Giannis, you know, I'm sure any of these guys. And, and think about it, Rob. No closure. You know, you ever done something where, it, you know, it's going great, but there's no closure? You it's mean like marriage? No yeah, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was closure, unfortunately, right? Yeah. You're right, legal closure. You're right. I got a piece of paper. You're fired. Right. <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, Craig in Maine. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Craig? Hey, guys. What's happening? First, I'd like to say uh, happy, I think it's happy anniversary to you, Rob. I believe it's been nine years since the no way, no how <laughs> Brady would ever go to a Super Bowl again. I think Is that been, right? I think, it it's yeah, I think it's eight. Yeah, I, think I think it's, it's been nine eight. years. Yeah. But um, as far as LeBron goes, of course, I mean, I think this is probably the best uh, cast he's had, uh, you know, to play with. Uh, I would think he definitely is stressing about it, you know. But I think they, if they do bring it back, and I know they won't money-wise, but uh, I think it should be a sudden death. Win and go home and give maybe a lesser team a chance to show up and maybe, you know, outplay a better team. Sudden death, one game, maybe do the final three-game series, you know. Craig, that sounds great. Television wouldn't go for it. I, right, I, I got I, it. I wait, 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 well, I, let me say I this. I said though. television wouldn't I, go for it. Because I, I'm not so sure. I mean, it would jack up all their, you know, their. I'm talking their, about the, the their, sales their that they've already had for right. the fine. Oh, no. It I'm would just jack saying up money all wise. that. But here's my issue with it. Because if, 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 you know, if this thing goes much longer, you know, as far as the shutdown and the only chance they have is to play a March Madness style thing. I think TV would eat it up at that point. You'd be like, hey, first of all, you know the ratings are going to be through the roof. It's all we have to do, so let's do it. I mean, heck, they were putting horse games on. But, but Chris, here's my problem but, but with But wait Rob, a minute. Let me, just, let me just say the thing you just said about uh, ratings through the roof. If that's the case, then you would want to have a four out of seven series. No, you but I'm saying if you can't, if the time – if the time frame is such that it's just that's just not possible, of course they prefer seven games. But I'm saying if it, if all they could do is do a March Madness style event, I think they they do it because people would just eat it up. My problem is this, Rob. We in the media, you know, I, we would I would give it a chance to see how it plays out, but I don't. We just wouldn't recognize that ring. I don't believe as equal to the other ones. I, sure, I could recognize, okay, they went and got it done, but it wouldn't feel equal like if LeBron does it. That fourth ring would not feel equal to those previous three. Am I, am I wrong? You, how do you feel I mean, about that? People would, yeah, people would, would question it. I, I, I agree with that. They would look at it and say, but here's the other part of you, the network or the league. What if you wind up with uh, Brooklyn and Utah in the finals? You We're, know right. what I mean? That's the, the, that, the, that's that's the, the yes, that's a am good I right? point. That, that, that's that's the, the other one. And then you'd be like, ah, uh, that was a bad idea. Right. Yeah, we, we'd love Sacramento to upset, you know, Utah in round one. Right. That's fine. But you don't want Sacramento going too far. You don't want them upsetting the Clippers or that's the Lakers. Or, that, you know what I mean? Like Then people yeah. would be like, oh, this is a terrible, oh, my God, I can't believe right. this. <laughs> and then you'd have the other way. All right, Marty in Kentucky, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Marty? What's up, fellas? What's up, hey, I, I'm great, man. I'm chilling out here with the river, enjoying the good weather. Um, river! Oh, hey, River Rob's hollering at you. Oh, he's, What's he's, up, he's, man? he's barefooted walking on gravel. It's taking my ass to hear. I'm totally against that, what y'all were just talking about, what the other caller brought up. Uh, NBA is, is different. We expect the best team to win it. We don't want, we don't want a one-and-done right. tournament situation. And as far as the – LeBron, what he's thinking, of course, what he has to say has something to do with what it has to do with his success. He's a human being. It's like you were talking about Cal, uh, Coach Calipari and I or two yesterday. What he had to say had something to do with how it affected his success. And yep. LeBron's a human being. And if he is against something that's against, that's going to work against his chances of success, he's chasing Michael Jordan, he's chasing the GOAT. Of course he feels that way, part, partly because it involves his success. That's no right. No doubt, Marty. No, yep. no, no doubt yeah. about it. 
Good if, call. if LeBron had a bad team, right? Say it was oh, he'd last year, Chris. Be saying, he'd, he'd be like, be we should just those. cancel a year, right? <laughs> right? No, he would. Well, and look, and let's be honest. If I'm a player on Phoenix or, you know, Sacramento, I mean, really? I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to go to Orlando or and, wherever and, don't forget and play this, Chris, six games. The players got all their money already from the season. They got yes, they got their entire yes. year because the last paycheck was April fifteenth. I'm talking about if you get the normal paychecks, through, you know, through, through yep. the course of the year, you're done. Yeah, you're, you're yep. done. There's no more money coming. Regular season money, and the only pool would be at the end, depending on how far you go in the playoffs. 